Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Chicago, Illinois, getting ready for our epic 46 hour train ride. This is Amtrak's northernmost route. It's known as the Empire Builder. We get ready to enjoy fabulous views of the city of Chicago as we head north and west on our journey across the country. We'll also get to ride along major portions of the Lewis and Clark Trail as we start our adventure to the west. We leave Chicago in the middle of the day as we make our way towards Wisconsin and across Minnesota and through big sky country into Montana before arriving in Seattle. We'll cross the mighty Mississippi while there is still some daylight for us to enjoy. We'll experience Glacier National Park at sunset. We also see a bit of snow as we traverse the Cascades. We'll also follow along the Columbia River and we catch the gorgeous views of Puget Sound before arriving into our final destination of this trip, which is Seattle, Washington. All right, so before we get to all of that, let's start at the beginning. When we board the train, we see there are some special touches that we have not seen before. At the top of the stairway, our room attendant has placed these beautiful flower arrangements as well as additional waters and even magazines for our reading pleasure. We make our way down the hall and to our room and get settled in. Right away, we start the trip with fabulous views of the city of Chicago as we make our way north. Now, our very first meal on this train ride is going to be dinner, and our dining car attendant has added flower arrangements as well as white tablecloths, which makes for a very inviting dinner experience. Okay, I'm gonna dig into my absolute favorite appetizer on the traditional dining plan here on the Empire Builder, and that is the lobster crab cake, so let's go for it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. There we go. I got the flat iron steak medium well today with the baked potato and this is new they brought a1 sauce so I actually love a1 sauce I'm gonna use this quite liberally Let's see how that goes <laughs> So our main entrees arrive and we both dig in and enjoy not just the meal but the views from the windows along the way. We have a little time as we sit here and eat. We get to watch as the city views fade away and we head more into the rural parts of Illinois as we're enjoying our great meal on the train. We do have traditional dining on this train, which gives us a few more options. We do let our food digest a little bit before we dig into these desserts. I got the carrot cake and Rob got the cheesecake. Now, after dinner, we hear that the National Park Service Rails and Trails Program is on board to share some information about the wildlife 
that we may see and encounter along this journey. We also get a chance to add an exclusive new stamp to our National Park Service passport. Oh my gosh, you're rangers, but I would absolutely love. Do you want a stamp? All right. So you have the book. All right. This is your like fourth one today. I'm so excited. Ah! So this is brand new. Okay. And um, it's especially clear. That's so you know it's brand new. I and mean, I, I have a passport book, and some of my books are. They look like those are, oh. those are really old stamps. Yeah. <laughs> so these are brand new stamps. This is brand new as of a couple. We're debuting it. It's like three days old. So. Uh, Will it show up on here? Yes. Oh, okay. So you have to put that on. Rock okay. it back and forth. Okay, this rock. Should be the, this should be the top here. We'll find something. Okay. Something for we you here. We want to test. Okay. You can test it right here. <laughs> so I don't mess it up. Yes. Okay. I understand. Is that right? Yeah. So these are oh, wait. very, yeah. So I want to turn it this way. Well. Well, no, that is right. No, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, this is right, right? Should be. This, okay, all right, ready? <laughs> That's why. Here we go. <laughs> we test it. <laughs> Yay! Well, oh, that is adorable. These are very coveted um, National Park oh, stamps. Oh my goodness. Because you have to be on this ah, train. Today. Really? Yeah, I'm so, so I'm excited you've got that. Me I, too. I, uh, I love collecting passports. Yeah, I didn't yes. happen to have my NPS one, but this well, is my one from Switzerland. <laughs> oh, here you go. Now so I put it in the back. We have oh, stickers. Can, oh, okay. So oh. as long as you're here. Oh, so I can stick this in there. Oh, well, yay. You, okay. You, have you got your passport, a passport book? Yes. Yes, I just didn't have it with me. Well, I only had this one in my back. And, and, and stick it in there. And stick it in your book. Oh, okay. So this so, is the top part then? It should be a okay. circle. I can't. I can't see that one, oh, but people have see. said it's a circle. Is it? Let's see. Boy, I don't. I know, I can't tell, but oh, somebody. I, oh, I can see where there's yeah. like a people, ridge right there. That's yeah. right. Somebody this morning. Oh, I do see it. Right in the middle. I had, yes. Okay. All okay, right. My eyes are like. Uh. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Yay! Oh, I'm right. so excited that I could put it right in there then. You are all set. Perfect. Enjoy the trip. Thank you Thank so you. much. Okay guys, I just got something so cool. It's fresh and it's like three days old, she just told me. So the National Park System comes onto the Empire Builder because we do skirt um, the edge of Glacier National Park on this route. And so they do share some things about like what you'll, some of the wildlife you'll see along the route and different things like that. And they're debuting the brand new Empire Builder. Let's see what it's called. It's the Mississippi, I can't read what all the words said, Mississippi Historical uh, Movement Glasses River and Recreation Area Empire Builder. You can only get this NPS stamp on this train ride. It's special with the Rails and Trails National Park System um, program that they have with Amtrak. So if you're on here, they also have the little booklets for the Junior Rangers, if you're looking for that. I was teetering on requesting one for myself because I love them so much. But I did get this stamp now. I didn't have my NPS passport with me, um, and so I had my, I happened to still have my Swiss pass one with me, and I didn't have any extra pages on here from all of the uh, Swiss trains that we rode, so I had the stamp done on my back page, and she said, if you have a passport, no problem. If you don't have it with you, they have these, these are actually stickers, and you can put the stamp on here and then take the sticker and put it into your passport, and you won't lose it. Hopefully, if you can keep track of it, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that in my wallet and keep track of it but that says empire builder on it this is the only train that you can get it on so do not miss out on that listen for it when you get on the empire builder head over to the observation car and hear all about uh the wildlife and everything you'll see on this route well one man's trash is another man's treasure as they say because i was walking <laughs> i was walking from the observation car back to our room and i had to walk through the dining car dining car attendant said to me hey do you want some wine I was like, I already had dinner. She said, well, we, we poured some extra and we can't pour it back into the bottle. She said, take this back to your room with you. So red wine <laughs> tonight, extra wine here for me tonight in the room. So I guess I didn't want to turn it down. <laughs> All right, we just pulled into our first fresh, fresh air break. We are in- Winona, Minnesota. Minnesota. So we've already zipped through Wisconsin and through Illinois, we weren't in there very long, were we? No, the first fresh air break is quite a ways after you mm -hmm. board on this uh, 
Empire yeah, Building. so be so. ready for that. <laughs> yeah, but it is great here. A lot of fresh air. Temperature feels great. Yeah, it does feel nice. Love in Minnesota. <laughs> One cool thing we noticed at this stop, it's a little dark out here, but we do have a special 50th anniversary locomotive on the front of this train. And we think it's the phase one version. So uh, we can't really go down there right now. It's way down there and we only have a couple minutes at the stop. So tomorrow we're gonna go check that out and let you guys see what that looks like. Pretty sure it's gonna be pretty cool looking though. Okay, so we were preparing for bed, but um, we just got an alert, emergency weather alert, that said there's a tornado warning in the area until 10 p.m. It is 9.30, and it is lightning out. Um, we've seen that for a little bit here, but didn't realize we had storms out there. Um, so we'll be taking, the train is still moving pretty quickly here, so I don't know if we're gonna be moving out of that, um, but, We'll stay up for a little bit longer and see. <laughs> All right, the storm has subsided, thankfully for us, and we have got our bed made up. I'm about to head up here to the upstairs, and we're gonna go to bed, wake up in the morning, and we will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Slept pretty well, even though it was raining outside, and came down for breakfast. Both got the eggs. I got uh, sausage, and Allie got bacon. So we're going to dig in and get to seat and get our day started right. Hey, yo guys, you're coming in for breakfast? Yeah! Come on down! Come on down, price is right. I know, this like this fog park. I seen Fargo this morning at 5 o'clock. I said, well there it is. I told her snow on the ground. And she said, you're dreaming. I know, no, look at it. <laughs> she hit me in the damn head with the uh, parachute thing. Uh, knocked me out. I said, that's great. Made it back to me off this train. Tried to kill me. Okay, so we've gotten the burger lots of times, but this time around, um, they offered us bacon on the burger, so we're having a bacon cheese burger. Look at that, that looks really good, and it smells really good. It just came off the grill, so I'm gonna doll this thing up and eat it. Good with the bacon. Mm-hmm. It's very good with the bacon. 
a lot of times people ask us what we do while we're on the train for so long, and we do try to spend as much time as possible relaxing and taking in the views of the country. One of the best places to do that is the observation car, which is also known as the sightseer lounge. This car is open to all train passengers to enjoy. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for a room tour. We start out here with the lower seats where we spend most of our time sitting. And these two lower seats, we use this, these two bars down here at the bottom for it to recline. You recline each side and that's what makes your bed for at night. There are several amenities here in the room. There is a nice armrest and there's also the air vents on the side right by the window. There is also a, a push to call attendant button. And then there's also the light button and that does control the ceiling, light and the night light. You can also have it all the way off. There's also the music control, which doesn't really control the music. It actually controls the announcements made overhead. You do have a reading light on this side, which you control and you can also move it up and down um, for a little direction. Now on this side, move my bag here, you will see these are the steps to go up to the upper bunk, which we'll look at in just a minute. There is a trash bin on this side as well down below, nice big trash bin, and they do, they can empty that if it gets a little bit too full for you, but these are the steps that Rob is gonna use to get up to his upper bunk. We also have a nice big mirror here, which is very helpful for getting ready in the mornings. And there is also a night light or an extra reading light for up above if Rob wants to read from up above. And then right next to that are, is the air control or the air vent. And there is a little black tab control right here where you are going to be able to close the vents if you pull it on one side. There's still a little bit of air that comes out, but then if you push it, then it'll be full blast. So if you're up above, and you want to be a little bit cooler, then you're going to want to have those opened up. We also get washcloths and hand towels provided to us, and the shower towels are provided in the actual shower stall. This hook here, they do provide a couple of hangers. You can use this coat hook or the other hook to hang things from if you like um, on the hanger or just on the hook if you want. And then on this side, you also have this strap here if you want to um, put any bags or anything like that to kind of hold back. Now this area here um, is kind of open and you can store, as we, you see we've stored our toiletry bags in there. Um, 
and it's just a real thin kind of small area so there's not a lot of ton a ton of room for storing things then on this side you'll see the push so you push that down and then you lift and pull for reclining the seat there is storage underneath both of the seats down below so you've got plenty of room there to store your things on this side it's an identical seat except for the amenities that are on the headrest over here you do still have a reading light here as well just like you do on the other side but then on this side you've got this air control switch this black button here and you're going to turn that either cooler or warmer or just leave it on normal not going to change the temperature a ton but it is going to give you a little bit of a difference there there's also uh, one outlet here so as you can see we have our handy dandy four usb um, adapter here we use that all over the world and it's perfect We've got blackout curtains as well down below now in a super liner like this. There's only windows down below, not windows above like in a view liner, but you can black out the room with those curtains and just kind of close those up. Now, if you're looking to either do some work or you want a table in your room or you want to eat a meal in your room like we do sometimes, you've got this nice table that folds out. Now, they do have these check this checkerboard kind of built into it. I wish they provided the pieces as well so you can play <laughs> some checkers while you're here but this table is nice and big gives you plenty of room for both people to use if you wanted to both have computers or ipads or whatever out you could both use it and it sto stores fairly easily back into that slot now quick peek here up above this is the upper bunk you just pull on the latch bring it down and it locks into place you there's another coat hook up here so there are two of them up in this area and then we'll also take a look here at this little netting back here um, does uh, provide a space for you to store snacks like you can see Rob has got here his snacks if he wants to have something after I've gone to bed and there's also a little bin back here a little basket where he keeps his glasses and his cell phone at night so he doesn't roll over onto them if they're stored in that netting up against the wall so there is just enough room up here for him not a ton of room to move around if you've seen our other videos on the channel with all the measurements and all the information um, you'll get a little bit more if you want a deeper dive into this room tour this um, right here is kind of like a seat belt for the person in the upper bunk the trains do rock around uh, quite a bit so you're going to want to have these uh, in place so that you do not <laughs> roll out of that upper bunk that is going to hurt if you fall out now we're going to go downstairs here and we're going to take a look at one of the restrooms now in this style uh, in this view liner two we're going to have a little bit smaller bathrooms than you have in the view liner one so in the view liner two the bathrooms uh, do have a call attendant button just like in the one but as you can see it's a much smaller uh, more confined space there are bars to hang on to which is always smart to do there's also a baby changing table you've got uh, paper towels available as well as tissues in here and an outlet there is somewhere to hang a towel and a coat rack if you need to use that as well and there are seat covers too don't forget to lock the door or someone's going to walk in on you and there's also the water doesn't stay on for very long you do have to press it in order to get the water to come out so just remember to keep pressing that and you can get more water out and if you need cups for brushing your teeth those are provided as well now let's take a look at the shower, which they also call a dressing room, but it's mostly a, used as a shower, I think, for the most part. I'm going to walk right into the shower area here. It's a good enough space. Again, do not forget to lock that door or someone's going to walk in on you. Um, it's just enough room to do what you need to do here in the shower. Um, there's just enough pressure, and you also are able to change it to cold or hot water. There is a curtain that you pull, a big, thick curtain curtain that you pull and there is a bar in here and it is highly recommended that you hang on to that bar if you are showering while the train is moving they do provide you in these boxes you will find um, bars of soap and there's extra washcloths in there as well as the towels to um, to use in the shower and of course there is an attendant call button should you slip and fall or anything like that
It is about 8.20 on uh, the second day of the trip, now p.m. And we are about 15 minutes from East Glacier, Montana. And that's something that we wanted to be able to see, Glacier National Park. Now the sun is not supposed to set until 9.03 p.m. So if we don't have any more delays, it's a race against time, but we may be getting in and see just a glimpse of Glacier National Park. Now, it is not out our window here. We are facing south and the views will be to the north. So if we get there in time, we're gonna have to try to run down the hallway and look out maybe a, a side window of the train. So if we get there, we'll go do that and show you what it looks like. Oh, we just got to see Glacier National Park. We did walk down to the other uh, hallway, kind of where the bedrooms were, and there was a lot of people in the hallway just taking pictures. It was great. We got there just as the sun was setting, and we kind of got that afterglow moment, so it was just perfect. So in this instance, it was kind of nice that the train was two hours late.
Okay, everyone's excited because we stopped here for a fresh air break in Wenatchee. Wenatchee. I'm not 100% sure if that's right, but Wenatchee. And um, we've lost part of our train on purpose. We dropped them off in Spokane and they're off to Portland and we're off to Seattle. So we've got, we're down to one engine and they took the sleeper car from the back and some coach uh, cars as well. So we're down to a much shorter train, about half the size, right? Yeah. So not too far away from Seattle and so we are in Washington state and it's snowing. I uh, was not expecting to see snow in the middle of May in Washington. <laughs>
All right, just hopped off the Empire Builder, checked into our hotel room, and usually we stay over by the station, but because we're not leaving from the station tomorrow, we thought we'd explore a little bit more of the city. So we are staying at the Hyatt uh, Olive 8. I'm gonna give you a quick pick, peek around the room here. Uh, this is the bathroom, nice big bathroom, very spacious, huge shower. And then you've got this nice little closet area here. Gives you a good space to store some things and even have the drawers right there. And then there's a little bench here and you've got a little fridge, which I like, and coffee bar area. We are of course in Seattle, so there will be coffee provided, right? And a nice, we got the king room, so the bed looks great. That's perfect size. And we've got a really nice big TV if we were gonna watch TV. Desk area is huge. Looks like a nice ergonomically shaped chair and a nice comfortable chair if we want to just sit and read and enjoy and a little bit of technology in the room here as well. So all in all, it looks like a pretty good room for us to rest in before we keep going on the rest of this journey.